And here we go, we got the manatees, some of our locals stepping in to kind of enjoy the show. And our crew's struggling. This current is pulling them right into the dock. You're going to have to brake check or something, Captain. No, we're just going to smack it. Oh, man. You could tell just looking at this, the current is ripping today. And it's going to give these captains fit. Welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on Earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ranch channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the ramp, and today we are visiting Black Point. So Cap's getting them set up. Are we going to switch sides? And that's what it looks like. He's going to try and dock into the current. This is a tough call sometimes, because when you're docking, trying to let the current push you in, when it's ripping this hard... You have no control, so there's no brake checking, really, that's going to stop it. I mean, and that's one of the tougher ones when you're in that situation. If you're in and the current's ripping that hard and pulling you toward the dock, it's one of those things like you just watch it happen. You almost can't stop it. And he's trying to go for the toss. And there we go. Finally goes for the step off. Pulling it back, and I think our guy in the front must have it look hooked because I don't see the boat coming off on the bow. And these guys should be good to go on getting this one put away. But I'm curious, it's tough to tell from here if there's any damage. I mean, they smacked it pretty solid. And here's our guy, he's gonna go over and take a look and see what the damage is. Uh oh, he came off the trailer, he was backing down. No lines, the boat comes off the trailer. Quick to jump into action, though. Comes running down the dock, but now he's going into this million-dollar formula here. And, oh, man, he's going to try and push off. The guy on the formula has ran to the bow to try and push him off as well. But, yeah, he was just backing down. There were no lines. They already had the hooks off the front, and this thing came just came right off the trailer. Tried to do that pro solo launch, not realizing the current was ripping so hard that it's not one of those things that's really an option here at Black Point today. But disaster is averted. Quick to jump into action. I mean, I can't believe how fast my man got down that dock when that boat came off. And he should be able to get this one put up also, but that was that was a close, close call. Are we gonna get us a little black point wobble action? Our guy appears to be struggling to get this trailer back down the ramp. And he's got a friend kind of bouncing side to side trying to give him some help. But, I mean, you've got every lane there, bro. You've got all the room in the world. And it's not that busy down here today, so just take it and use it. Probably going to have to straighten this one back out. There we go. Now you should have a good approach angle, though, and be able to really kind of get this down. Kind of gets it off to the wrong foot a little bit, but there we go. Quick correction. Heading back the right way. And something's wrong here, though, because that boat's not floating. It's not floating off the trailer. In fact, the trailer kind of looks like it's floating now that I'm really looking at it. But they have to have stern lines or something on. Yeah, right there you can see that trailer is floating for sure. I thought they were going to maybe pull out. No, he's just going to back in again. But you can tell how low that transom gets when he's in the water. This is still attached to the trailer somehow. So our guy in the dock's grabbing it. And 
Maybe he's walking back up to tell him now, like, hey bro, something, we're still attached. I didn't see transom lines, but there's gotta be something there. Yep, yeah, he's talking to the driver, letting him know, like, hey bro, this is not coming off the trailer. Yep, somebody just yelled that he had straps on. So I heard him say that. So th he's got to have some kind of straps on there. So they're going to have to pull this one back out and try and relaunch it. Oh, they're spinning tires. He can't get it out now. He went too far back down the ramp, got his rear tires wet. Now this is going to be an interesting situation. Right there, you can see it. he's spinning... This is the first time I've seen somebody forget their straps and then they're not going to be able to pull it back out <laughs> to get the straps off. And he wasn't moving at all right there. So when he was spinning those tires, he was getting no traction whatsoever. And I get, we're going for a swim, man. <laughs> so hopefully uh, our local predator is not around in the water anywhere. As my man goes back here to the back of the boat, and yep, we're going for a swim, trying to get whatever whatever they've got this tied down with tied off. Looks like he's working on it. But you can tell here that the whole trailer is just floating as it's moving. And I can see a hand, so he's walking around. He's got one side off. And if we're walking around, it sounds like the other side's tied up, too. Gotta remember to check those drain plugs, check those straps. That's the only way this one could get any better. But um, I don't see a bilge pump going, so I was like, if they were missing the drain plug, that could be great as well. I mean, I'm not wishing that upon anybody, but sometimes it's just fun to have a little extra content to go with it. But uh, we'd definitely see a bilge pump going off if that was the case right now. And there we go, the trailer releases, you watch those poles drop. So yes, they were hooked. The boats now should be floating and they should be able to get it off. But they should be good to roll from here. That was the, uh, we've got a lot of videos here at the ramp and this is the first. This is the first time I've seen where Somebody forgot the straps, and they backed down and couldn't get off the ramp. So I was kind of curious when I first saw this how was, they were going to handle this, but my man jumped right into action, went over there, started swimming, and got it taken care of, and it looks like they're going to be good to go from here. And speaking of being good to go, we're going to get out of here as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check our other content out. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Holliver Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.